Hello all, in this video we are going to see how to insert a sunburst chart in Excel 2016. If you notice we have uh, data already provided here which shows the branch office, department, supervisor, manager, staff and size. Um, we have three different branch offices and we have different uh, departments um, which is marketing, sales, IT, and supervisors, manager, staff. If you notice here, some of these values are repeated and some of the cells are empty. So that means you could have any number of permutations and combinations that you have here in order to have your sunburst chart. Mainly sunburst chart represents the hierarchical data. Okay, let me insert a chart here. Go to insert. sunburst chart after looking into the chart you should be able to understand why this is called a sunburst because the uneven uneven levels and also it looks like a sun rays okay so that's why it's called sunburst uh, chart so each uh, circle represents one level in the hierarchy okay so the root level represents the the root circle represents the branch office, whereas outer level circle represents the department and so on when, when we move from the uh, root circle. Most importantly, you can see that here, the size is representing the um, size of that particular level, okay? For example, if we have to put Boston instead of 120, you could be able to see just the Boston would be with this much, okay, which is not a good visualization. However, it is still a sunburst chart. If you have data like that, that would be okay to draw that, but usually we always have equal number of uh, um, size in order to represent this. Um, you could be able to change your um, chart design by, by selecting the chart, go to design and uh, have uh, designed whatever you want to select, okay? So this way you could be able to see easily whatever the departments that you have in the branch offices, who are the managers in which level, and who are the supervisors and staff in that. Thanks for watching.